it goes without saying that Kiwis and sport are pretty much inseparable. Authors Greg Ryan and Jeff Watson join us now to tell us about their new book, Sport and the New Zealanders, a history. This is such a substantial piece of work and it is hot off the press and out today. Welcome to the cafe, Greg and Jeff. Yes, Good welcome. Thank you. Really Thank nice you. to have you there. Greg, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, you've written some books about sport before. I've written a bit about um, cricket and rugby over the years and um, eventually not, um, New Zealand native team 1905 All Blacks and eventually just thought we needed to get bigger. We needed to put rugby in the middle of everything else that's going on as well. <laughs> so you did go bigger, a lot bigger. Absolutely bigger. Yeah, and, and just before we talk to Jeff, Greg, tell us a bit about your background. What do you do? I'm uh, mainly lecturing in uh, New Zealand history, history of sport at Lincoln University, and then got sidetracked into um, academ academic administration as well, which is why the book took 11 years to finish. <laughs> <laughs> 11 years? Yeah. So, Jeff, have you two always been mad about sport? Oh, I've been keen for quite a long time. I remember actually that the first time Greg and I met each other was at Christchurch uh, at Canterbury Uni and one of the lecturers was talking about the Bodyline series and afterwards Greg and myself gave him some more details and further reading, which I'm sure he enjoyed enormously. I'm sure yeah, subtle, subtle corrections. So, <laughs> so keen as in you like to know about it but not necessarily playing it? Oh, I used to play uh, hockey and coach hockey and uh, oh, yeah. still sort of run around on the weekend sort of along the riverbank and uh, right. oh. so you're living and breathing it yeah yeah and, and um i guess if your mates asked you what you'd been doing for the last 11 years that hadn't seen you and you said you've been putting together a book how would you sum it up to them well i'm one of these strange people who likes to sit at a uh, test match for five days and not speak to anybody right and, <laughs> and just take it take it all in and think so um yeah, I've, um, I've applied for research funding to go to cricket matches. That was my main obsession. Are you that guy down the front with the notebook? Yep, That's yep, yeah, that, yeah. I, I'm, one of, I'm one of them. Well, so it's obviously really something right up your alley then. Yeah. Yeah. And what compelled you to get this together? Uh, I think we thought it had to be done. There's a great uh, sports biography by DJ Cameron, the former writer, and he said someone had to do it was the title, and we just thought, you know, there's been a lot written on various parts of New Zealand sport, and... Now it's time to try and sort of put together the bigger picture, really. Yeah. So how did you put together the bigger picture? What exactly is involved? We, we sat down and sort of planned out, um, I think it was originally Jeff was going to do chapter one, I was going to do two and three. I'm not quite sure where it went to after that. And then it sort of evolved. We would write bits and then there would be, oh, no, that, that piece there actually needs to be in another chapter. So there was a lot of emailing backwards and forwards. Um, Jeff Skyped me once, but it put the pressure on me too much to complete some things, so we went back to emailing after that. <laughs> and, uh, but it was really just quite a shuffling exercise. It, it was not written in any logical order. You, you can't write this from beginning to end. You, um, you tend to sort of go off in directions and discover that some things need more than you thought and some actually need significantly less. So um, yeah, just uh, a lot of backwards and forwards. Yeah. Um, and a couple of very good editors, including my wife. Oh, good. <laughs> OK, team effort, which we like, and that's yep, what sport absolutely. is. It's a team effort, isn't it? I, I was curious, though, w did you investigate why certain sports in New Zealand became more popular than others? Because you look at something like rugby now, it's ingrained in our society, whereas football is not so popular. Did you have a look at that? Yeah, that's quite a lot. I mean, really, historically, the key thing is if you want your sport to be a national sport, you have to get it into schools. And if you're not in schools, you're really going to struggle. The other thing is you want a real cross-section of classes uh, playing your sport because if, if you do that and it's linked to provincial and local identities, then people get behind it. And that's really sort of, if you look at rugby union, rugby union gets into schools, it gets linked to provincial identity, and New Zealand does well in it, which uh, helps a lot. If you want something to be a national sport, it helps to win more than you lose. It helps to do well. Yeah, so yeah, what, yeah. what are our top five sports? Obviously rugby is the uh, top one. Uh, still rugby cricket, um, netball, the one that gets forgotten because I think some people think oh, it's not really a sport but of course it is, is horse racing which is the other very oh, right. significant um, but increasingly too um, athletics in various forms, rowing, touch, rowing. Mm -hmm. Basketball is um, one of the largest in, in yeah. New Zealand. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. In terms of participation. So that's your, that's your tricky measure in a way is when you say a top sport of, um, participation is one thing, following, passion, TV coverage is, is something else because there's a lot of us 
people got hugely fascinated by yachting and by America's Cups, but actually very few of us went out sailing. So. I sail and I like the America's yeah. Cups, so yeah. I'm you're, you're, that one. you're one of the rarities. Yeah, I, guess. I think yeah. I might be. Yeah. So, Greg, do you think New Zealand would be a different place if it wasn't rugby that was our most popular? Like, say, for example, something other sport was it, you know, more popular. Would we be a different country, do you think? I think we'd certainly be a different country in some of the relationships, because rugby uh, came out of Britain, it became very important to New Zealand doing well at rugby, not just against um, Australian teams, but really going back to Britain, that 1905 All Black Tour and the 1924 team, in some ways helped to um, you know, confirm some of New Zealand's sporting success, put us on the world map. If it had been, I don't know, American football or, or even, um, even soccer football, uh, the whole the relationships would be different. You'd be dealing with different sorts of people. Right. Um, so mm. yeah, I think it would have played out a different way. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Mm. What do you think, um, chapter-wise, Jeff? What was the hardest chapter for you to put together? I think probably the last two chapters, ten and eleven, because that's dealing with modern sports sort of since 1985. And when you're dealing with things that have happened recently, you're not quite sure at that stage and how important will we think these are five or ten years later mm. I mean as historians we like to be wise after the events so you know <laughs> we, we, we comment very authoritatively on things that have happened and look very wise and things but it's a, it's a bit more difficult when it's, it's at the time and of course there, there's so much and you, and you know so much of what's going on so mm. I think uh, mm. the most recent ones are probably the most difficult. And talking about the pro you know being doing yeah. it for love or doing it yeah. as a mm. professional? Well, already we're out of date um, in the sense that you know, since the books come out, women's rugby has um, oh, yeah, gone true. more openly mm. professional. The, uh, the contracts, we sort of signalled that that sort of thing was probably coming, but um, yeah, certainly those last couple of chapters, it's, you know, it, it really is quite dynamic. Uh, are there any particular people that were pivotal in the history of sport? I don't know if I'd single out individuals in a way, but there's a, there's a whole group of people who come out to... New Zealand in the late 19th century. Some of them end up as um, school teachers and uh, the elite schools, places like Christ College, uh, Wanganui College at Wellington College. But at the same time, they all end up being involved in not just one, but usually several um, local or provincial sporting clubs or organisations. And there's a real tie up between putting sport into the schools, creating provincial competitions, uh, bringing national teams together. And it's just it's well, the it brings the country together, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah so it I understand it, yeah. And it brings it there on so much volunteer labour. You know, yeah. None of these people are being paid for right. the, the hours they're putting in. And that's mm. still the case in a lot of ways. That is the case, isn't yeah. it? And I guess with all of the um, research that you put into this, is there another book in there? Because I'm sure there would have been a few things left out. <laughs> Another 11 years later? <laughs> might yet be an, an, an author's cut, you know, a couple of years' time if, if people buy this one and then uh, they might even have the subheadings in the next one. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a few. I think that there's, a, there's all sorts of things that you could follow through. I mean, um, you know, there's pieces there on Pacific sport. You've certainly done work, Jeff, on um, Indian and Chinese sporting contributions. I think the whole shape of New Zealand sport in terms of you know, ethnic participation is really changing. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to think there might be an update to this one at some stage, but yeah, there's all sorts of... All uh, sorts of possibilities. Well, yeah. And it makes the country tick over, doesn't yeah. it, you know, sport, so I can see why it's taken 10 years to put together, but what a fantastic book, yeah. and really looking forward to getting stuck Let's celebrate in this boys. one, shall we? Yeah. Out now, out, out today, yeah. Uh, Greg and Jeff's book, Sport and the New Zealanders, is available from today at all good bookstores.